Okay, folks, this is Grove Hensbury, Wallenside, California, here bringing to you an extra extra from the Los Angeles Times, I believe it was uh, on the uh, Sunday edition here. And the op-ed there is, uh, why did the pandemic catch us flat-footed and how do we fix it? Okay, uh, something to uh, uh, remember, okay? There's a hell of a lot of difference between a hurricane, a tornado, uh, and the classic floods that happen every year in the floodplains of the United States of America, okay? And uh, this uh, virus situation is uh, like totally different. And now, contrary to what some of the news media have said, oh man, this is our 9-11. Uh, okay, let, let me help you, folks. This is here to help you, okay? Uh, viruses, historically, was it Spanish, swine, uh, whatever it is. And this one, cannot fly a 747. Okay, all right. Okay. And we got that concluded. And uh, uh, so it has nothing to do with, but that's the news media. How do they suffer? Oh, these uh, readers, they're like, duh, we'll go along, they're dumbing down. You're so stupid, you'll buy into that crap. Okay, and even the, in the Tribune, they had a little thing over there. I'm embarrassed to show you. They should be embarrassed that they cop into that crap, okay? And so, and, and, and FEMA and all these guys, this uh, thing just not only you want one area in Louisiana or anything like that, just all over the country. Okay, so not prepared for it. Yeah, that, that's to be expected. And then if you saw my piece that I did on how Arnold Schwarzenegger after Katrina, $204 million to readiness, uh, disaster readiness. Guess what? Uh, they decided because of the 2008 uh, budget situation, well, we can't support it. What? Are you out of your mind? Where are your, are your priorities? It doesn't matter what your budget is. Can you imagine what happens when you have something like this? It doesn't matter. Okay? And now, another thing that they have is a nice little clipping right in the middle of this thing. How do we, uh, what the caught us flat put it? And they had this thing, why were the South Koreans and Singapore able to suppress the pandemic with so little loss of life and so little damage to their economy. Well, let me tell you something, folks, and you can look it up. In Singapore, if you spit on the sidewalk, you will be taken into custody and you will receive a caning, okay? If you don't know what that is, look it up. They even have videos on it. You didn't even want to you don't want anything to do. You don't want to sneeze in the wrong direction in Singapore. That's the way it is. And in South Korea, there are a monolithic society. They're Koreans, for God's sake. You don't have this hodgepodge of humanity like you have in the United States of America. And they have control systems. And they're a postage stamp compared to the United States. Very well organized, too. Very well organized. Okay, so here we are, three minutes, 27 seconds. So uh, guess what? This is a, a whole new uh, generation. And after this, how are you going to organize state by state and the United States here for this? And just imagine if you had armed conflict, you know, which uh, you know, is very easy to imagine, especially with what the Russians are doing and, and with the Chinese and stuff that's going on militarily wise that you're sleeping at the wheel about it. okay and you're leaving this crap for your kids so wake up people take some responsibility and guess what in these things as Katrina people die that's just the way it is so wake up and deal with it and I tell, I'm not going to tell you the secret I don't want to shame you anymore okay so get with it get real make your kids proud bye